G'day, welcome back. So you saw part one, you saw how gross that oil was, you saw the state of the oil filter, this 2009 date coded oil filter here in 2021. Uh, so I've been through, I've done the rest of the service and this is what I did and what I found. It doesn't really follow an order, but we cover all the bits. Um, it's not DIY, it's just me fixing this car and you'll see how satisfying and awesome it looks by the end. So uh, come with me on the journey and we'll see you back at the end. Well, there's my setup to get to the hose clamp for the bottom radiator hose. Even says Alfa Romeo on the back. Look at that, Penrite OEM. I've mixed it 50 50 so it's not concentrate anymore. All right, let's get rid of the stinky old brake fluid and get ready to race. Sticking on a rag. Oh, fudge. Spill it everywhere. So we do it, eh? Get the turkey tron. some new stuff in So rear brakes, pads are kind of half worn, uh, everything else looks good, hoses are good, shocks and springs are all good, bit of rubbish over there on the guard, we'll see if we can do some more of that, bushes are all fine, so yeah not too bad shape here, we've got a nice new uh, Super Dot 4 in there, um, yeah. Alright so three of the wheels came off absolutely fine, I took them off with a little Tool Pro uh, half inch uh, 18 volt what's it? Um, Yep, they all came off, not a problem. Four of the bolts of this, the last wheel came off fine. The fifth one didn't come off with this. Didn't come off with the old air. How's your father? Didn't budge with the little bar. So I'm going to try it with the big bar. So I'm not really sure what's going on yet, whether it's cross threaded or just really tight. We, we shall find out, but uh, let's give it a go. The car's back down on the ground kind of annoying because it's quite a low car it's hard to get up in the air so I've had to lower it all down but you know there she goes bit of a grunt 
All right, so yeah, it could have been worse, but cheapers. One out of 20 bolts, super tight. All right, over on this side, still got some brake pad left. This look okay. Uh, we do have a um, torn CV boot, and we'll get onto that. And you see some uh, inventive bit of tying up of the brake pad wear sensor. The other one on, the one on the other side was fine. That one's a bit. What you did. Brake hoses look fine. Oh look, air CV boot buggered too. Uh, nice oil leak on the gearbox. Have to figure that out. Uh, everything else looks fine. So yeah, a couple of boots. Change the finish, change the brake fluid. Um, we're done for that part of the inspection. Tires are practically brand new um, in terms of wear. Uh, if we look at, they're made in 2018, so they're not too old, but they are high quality headway Horace some things. 205, 55, 16, so a nice common size, so you can get some decent tires, but um, these ain't going to be the best, especially not on a racetrack. But uh, yeah, we'll wear through those and. Uh, get something a whole lot better um, these are 16s probably gonna stick with these wheels partly because they're cool and also because Alfa Romeo's they use a really weird PCD it's like 5 by 98 mil or something like that um, so it's not easy to get different wheels unless you find another Alfa with bigger wheels uh, but I like these these tires quite high profile for going on the track but they'll be right All right, next up we're going to swap out some of the power steering fluid. It's Dexron 3 um, is the replacement, so just normal transmission fluid, nice red fluid. Makes a change from doing VW Audi stuff. So it's levels fine, it's a bit kind of browny looking. That seals a bit what you did. Pop that up there. Get our wheel dirtiest. Um, Catch pan, a grotty cloth. See, it's pretty dark, it's not disgusting, but we can make it cleaner. Alright, that's the uh, supposedly red pair of steering fluid we just got out of there. Well, I'll put some of this um, Morris Liquimatic Super ATF, which is a synthetic based automatic transmission fluid. Dextron 3. There you go. Yeah, we're kind of at the max ish. <laughs> Maybe marginally over. That'll be fine. Probably the biggest surprise on this car is that the uh, the cam belt's not due. It was done five years ago, uh, 125,000 Ks, and it's due September this year. Uh, it won't be due anywhere near due kilometers wise, but certainly date wise it'll be due, so we'll do that at some point. All right, let's get our spark plugs out. So. More ribe sockets. What size is this? Eight? No. Seven or six? It's a six. Remember that. Let's check them on the floor. 
should be. We didn't need that anyway. First time I've looked under here, so we've got a broken clip on there. Got this hose that's buggered up there. Where does that go? It just goes over there. We can fix that up easy enough. Injectors, fuel pressure regulator, coils with the old. However, these work. Not too sure. But we need to take this plate off. One, two. Oh. Take the plate off, take the plugs out, put new plugs in. That's a great design that is. Thanks. How does this even work? Disconnect whatever that is. Help me to understand. So it looks like we need a valve cover. No big deal. Alright, so two different sizes of spark plugs. Yep, yep there are. They've been in there a couple of minutes, I reckon. Just a few, they're rusty and dirty and whatever else. Let's get a pair up. Yeah. Yeah, so they're two different plugs. Got the old double dong on, on the left there, and the twin, what's it? The old single, both for NGK. Ours. We're putting dents those in. So these these plugs, not for helicopters, not for para jetty things, not for drones, or not for planes. Good for alphas.
All seem to have clicked on. Here's our failed breather hose. Oh, there's no saving that one. So we got the wrong kind of hose. We got some heater hose. Now we're just going to make a wee replacement. Which we'll do for now. It might not last forever, but nothing lasts forever. That's what they say, eh? One of those, a couple of new clamps. And that is perfect. Better than a big hole, so uh, I'll leave it at that. Put the cover on, go clean off that muck. Seen better days too. Four oh five two thousand and nine. She's an oldie. Filter done, bit of a pain but not too bad really overall compared to some things.
Right, so I've got my good going to town clothes on, got my Tool Pro pressure washer, got some degreaser, super cheap water degreaser, some heavy duty super wash. Let's see if we can make it clean. This is the before look. Bit grim. So we're gonna pre-watch it with some some of this and we'll hit it with the um pressure washer. Here's the after, so it doesn't even look like the same car. Do you know the gearbox is that colour? So yeah, big improvement, so we can keep an eye on that. Um, check for any leaks. Still need to rinse a bit, actually. Um, but yeah, that definitely looks a whole lot better for now. Got the cabin filter to do, so apparently you need to take off the windscreen wiper arm, all the cowling, and take the filter out there. So, um, yeah, I'll do that. Sounds easy. To get this out, you need to take both blades off, so I think it's, uh, it's even more work involved. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
I guess that was the left hand drive manual. <laughs> we'll take it off from this side. Got someone to put shed the threads on the screws, which is awesome. Can we do it without removing that last screw, maybe? Yeah, we can. See what this looks like. I don't know. Hang on. No, it's, it's falling to pieces. How good it is. Yeah. I think that's definitely done. See if we can find a date on this. Nah, it's just falling to pieces. Alright. New one. There we go. Looks a whole lot better than that. I'm going to put all this back together. I just need to swap out um, a washer jet I broke off the other day and um, should be good to go. Actually feel air coming out the vents now which I couldn't before. It's even cold because the aircon works. That's so much better. Yeah it wasn't shifting any air before. Now we're all sorted. Right how was that? That was um, a bit of an eye-opener. I don't think I've ever worked on a car as neglected as this one and if you see the text from the Facebook marketplace ad we'll put that here um, yeah, this car wasn't regularly serviced. Um, first car I've ever bought off Facebook Marketplace. And it's been pretty good value, so <laughs> we might get a few more. Um, but anyway, yeah, you, you saw the state of some of these bits that come off. There's no way this car's been regularly serviced. This one, the airfield is starting to pull itself to pieces because it's not flowing right. Spark plugs look horrendous. You saw the oil filter. You saw the pollen filter. Gee whiz. Uh, so yeah, next video we're gonna, I'm going to tell you why, I, well, not really why I bought this car, because there's no why. Um, I'll tell you the story of how I bought this car, that's much more interesting. And then um, after that we've got some other stuff to do. So comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers.